It's November the 5th, we've got big skies and we are progressing. He's off. His tyres are loaded with mud, ready to get onto the bends. So our trip has been a little bit like studying a lot of nature and we've come across this snake which unfortunately has perished but it's beautiful doesn't it this bike is misfiring it's the spark plug cap so we're going to fashion something i've come out i've got an idea we'll come back to you so what's happening is is that basically the top of the spark plug here this bit here goes into the plug cap there but with all the rattling it's just loosened off so I suggested to Ash to get a piece of pop can because it is really, really thin. And you, you basically it's going to take up a tiny little bit of space between the, the electrode, the, between that there. Now, I wouldn't even wrap it around, I'd put it just... Like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what you want to do is you want to actually stuff it into the, into the hole there, mate. See that hole? Yeah put it in that hole there and it should be long enough to come out the side of that so you can like hold it in place with your finger does that make sense so longer than that well yeah do it again shall we he's like my apprentice okay. <sighs> 706 metres. So I've cut him this strip of aluminium here out of a piece of can using that old oil container covered in ants as a workbench. And then that now goes into there. Let's just get nice and close. Goes into there because this bit here, the aluminium goes into the hole and takes up some other space. So there we go. The next film we're going to do will be Ash going down the road like a banshee. There we go, we have success. Go. Lovely. Chinese engineering at its best. We've come here in this where we're staying. You've caught me in the act. And Ash. Di Ash has dipped his churros in his chocolate. Look at the thickness of that. Look. That is nuts. Hang on, I've got an issue. He's got Brewer's droop. It's Monday and it's another day of heading north. Spain is very, very high. We have been bobbing around at between 800 and about 1100 meters all day and it's undulating a bit and occasionally we get bends and then sometimes we get very long rows like this and you might be able to hear ash on his little scooter and he is flying along there as you can see what we do for a while <laughs> but the great news is lovely clouds look at that everyone but the great news is, is over there you'll see the mountains and this is where the terrain starts to change so that's lovely also as you'll see I made a terrible job of making my awful scooter look even more well it's not awful it's a lovely scooter but I really did do it in the other day painting it orange so I spent a bit of time at lunchtime taking it back to its original colour there so the one of this evening's jobs is to do the other side because it's I really did it was it was bad I haven't got any idea with colours so we've been driving on some big roads we thought we'd get off the big roads onto a track and I said to Ash let's go left off the track into the woods so here we are and it just shows the versatility of these scooters. And we're off towards Hank the Tank, which is parked over there. The 
a marsh like there in the woods. You couldn't ask for today's scenery to change more than it has now. Look at the amazing colour of the rock there and the formation of it too. Now it's all, I think they, in America when I've been to places like that they call it pancake rock because it's like layers of pancake and it's obviously all the Hello everyone, it's the end of the day. We are out again in our robes, not because we're trying, well, purely because it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's nine degrees here. It's freaking freezing. It's either that or the motorbike jackets, we've been in them for days. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, which was a, a mixture of to yesterday's and today's. There was a, we're, we're at the height of Snowden at the moment. That's why it's so cold, isn't it? Bro? It is, it's freezing. So anyway, sleep well all. Bye bye.